going on guys, it's Joel here, and welcome to a pack opening. Alright guys, so it's Friday, Friday, no, but we're not doing that, but yeah, it's Friday, which means that FIFA does come out in the UK officially, a lot of you guys will be getting it today, which I'm happy for you guys, so, before I'd slam out some packs, so you guys have something cool to watch while you open your packs, or whatever. So I do have a favour to ask you guys, so a lot of your friends have probably got, maybe getting FIFA 15 for the first time, or whatever, or whatever, just, if you want, you guys can go tell them, say, hey, I got a mate, Joel, he does videos, because you know, we're mates, we are so mates, um, check him out, link, link them or whatever, tell your friends about me as they might be new to FIFA and I can help them out or just give them something cool to watch or whatever. You can do that, that'd be, or, that'd be awesome, I know a lot of you guys will do that because you're my bros. Anyway, so if you're looking for any coins, make sure to check out cheapy2coins.com and use JMX at checkout to get 5% off all your purchases. They're very cheap and reliable. And yeah, pretty much we're just going to jump straight into packs now, we've got a lot of FIFA points, hopefully you get some sick players, hopefully you guys get some good sick players. I actually do have couple like a story today story time with Joel you know, I know you guys love my stories so yeah I'll tell that in a sec after we've opened a couple packs also guys the Rose Glory will be up tomorrow I tried to record an episode last night but I had some problems so it will be up tomorrow don't worry um, but I thought I'd do a pack opening today we get Blazoskovsky oh what's happened to his pace oh he used to have 93 pace he's taking a big hit he still looks like a really really good card 82 rated then we get Pele we got Pele unfortunately it's not the legend Pele <laughs> Alright guys, time for story time. So basically it was like 7 o'clock-ish. No, probably 7.30 now because I have to get buses so early. It's honestly peak. And we get Duf. Oh my god. He's worth a lot because he's going to be so overpowered. He just looks like the next OP BPL striker. Like the next Benteke but with a bit more pace. He does look OP. Anyway, so as I was saying before I was rudely interrupted by Duf. Um, I was, it was like 7.30. I was just looking around Sainsbury's. As you do. Yeah, I was looking for something to drink, and I was looking for what's on offer, because, like, I have a weird thing. I don't know about you guys, but I have a weird thing where I won't pay any more than a pound for a drink. Is like, an, I won't pay any more for a pound for, like, a fizzy drink for a shop or anything. Like, if it's 109, nah, just forget it. I just can't do it. It's just, it's really weird. It's just, uh, yeah, I'm weird, okay? But, yeah, I was looking through, and then, bang, I thought, oh, my God, it's my lucky day. I saw a Coke Life, you know, the green one, 1.75 litres for a quid special offer, I was like, bam, mate, I've practically won the lottery. I'm having one of those. So yeah, I buy it, walk out of the shop, feeling well happy by myself. I'm like, this is this is my day. This is my day. Get on the bus with my mate as I normally do, and I go to open it, and it sort of fizzes up and a little bit goes out. It goes over my jeans, like, and I'm like, oh no. We get fucking Farfan, that's good. He's good. Also Adnan Yanazai. Love this guy. He's going to be in my BPL team because I reckon he's going to be OP and really cheap and everything. And Kone, this guy is so good. I love Kone. If you haven't watched my Road to Glory series, you'll know how. If you haven't watched that, just go watch it because if you have, you'll know how good Kone is on that. Anyway, back to the story. So I was on the bus with my mate, right? And the coke had gone a little bit. So I put it down to the left of me on the floor of the bus. Go to wipe the coke off my jeans because I'm like, I can't be having this. Everyone's going to be like, oh, he's pissed himself. That'd be banter. And the bus suddenly moves and the coke tips. And I looked to the forward and everything went in slow motion and the coke tip and it exploded. The lid came off, it exploded, poured everywhere. I don't know how, it was like a fucking NASA explosion. Literally, it exploded like I'd never seen shit explode before. It went everywhere. It poured all over the floor. And because I was on like the, there was like a, it's like a deck and then it goes up and then there's a, like a slightly higher bit. And I was on the high bit. And it dripped all the way down. It was like a freaking waterfall slide sort of thing. And the coke was going all across the bus. And I was shitting myself. And my mate, guess what my mate did? Like, all the things you could think of to do in this time of need. Uh, help out a friend. Oh my god, the inform! I was just talking about my story, got an inform! Yes! 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 That guy, he looks so good as well. He actually looks sick. He looks like a bad man. Six foot four, seventy-four pace, eighty-six physical. Surely he's gonna be worth a lot. He's like one of the best Liga BB no Liga Earn centre back. Imagine him, David Luiz, and Thiago Silva in your defence. That would just be just ridiculous. I can't believe we got an inform. That is so good. He barely into this, and we've already got an inform. Oh, that that is so good. Anyway, back to the story now. I keep getting interrupted. My friend, what he thinks to do? Firstly, he puts his earphones in and just pretends he doesn't know me. He looks the other way, pretends he doesn't know me. I'm just sat there like. What do I do? I grab the t-shirt out of my bag, start mopping up as much as I can, and the bus driver comes up, he's like, oh, you're going to have to clean that up, otherwise I'm going to have to take like, the bus out of service. So I'm shitting myself. And then I go I go down, mopping all up the floors, literally it was all over the bus, people were shaking their heads, looking at me like, what a twat, and I was just like, oh my god, just someone killed me. It was so awkward. 
And then my friend decided to take pictures of me, so that it not help me mop it up or anything, just just take some pictures of me. So yeah, sick. That was that was um my awkward story for the day. But I do have a cool story. Basically, our college class is just the best. It's just pure banter. And you know, one guy was throwing sweets at people. Oh my god! Ah! Ah! Shit! No way! Agueros! Oh, that sucks. She didn't pick up. What is there to be here with this moment? Her son's first ever insane pull on Ultimate T. But yeah, Aquero. Oh my god. Yes. Yes. That is so sick. So sick. We've got Aguero. He's going to be worth like 200k. Get on my level. Get on my level. Honestly, guys, this is such a lucky pack I've already. I've already told all my friends on Facebook. And they're like, for fuck's sake. You're so lucky. If you don't know, I honestly have the best pack luck ever. Last year, I got Team of Season Ronaldo, Team of Season Messi, like 10 legends. And I'm not even exaggerating. I actually have insane pack luck. And it's finally back. So yeah, if you haven't already subscribed, do that. Because if you like insane packs, basically, just subscribe. Anyway, so yeah, this guy, he threw a jelly snake across the classroom. I was here. I looked up. And caught it straight in my mouth. Now, don't make any jokes about me having a snake in my mouth. That's not funny, okay? So, in before those. But, yeah. I literally, first time, caught it straight in my mouth. It was sick. And, yeah, it was just some literally some insane shit. And now we get Santon. He's probably worth a bit, actually, because he's a decent BPL left back. We get Daniel Agar. Um, he's actually got some good pace now. So, he moves away from the Premier League to a league that we're never, ever going to use him in. And then they give him good pace. Like, thanks, EA. And also Tom Hardlestone, who looks... Pretty crap as well, and he hasn't even got his afro anymore. It's really gone downhill for him. Sabaletto, we get the other Argentinian Man City player. Decent. Yeah, Fraser Forster, and I actually think he's worth like 2k, which is just so good. I love this part of the game where even crappy 75 rated goalkeepers are worth 2k. It's just awesome. For Tongan, that's actually really good. He looks like an awesome centre back. He should be worth quite a bit, and also a thousand coins. These packs are so good right now. Alright, guys. We're going for the hood pack, and we get Cardofo. Alright guys, we just need one last player to end this off. One last awesome player, and this will just top off this beautiful pack opening. What we're going to get, is it going to be this pack? No. No. Greasy Griezmann on the pack. Can he give us our last really good player? No, Foster. Moreno! Alright, that's going to end it. That is one last player to end it. Now, he's not very high rated, but he's going to be worth a lot. I know he is, because I was just thinking, who's like a really pacey left back for a BPL team? And he is definitely the guy. 87 pace. He looks like he's going to be pretty OP this year. And he's literally going to be in everyone and their dog's team. Everyone and their dog's BPL team, you know you're just going to see Moreno in them. So yeah, that's the end of the packs. If you did enjoy the video, guys, please do smash the like, subscribe if you're new around here, make sure you tell your friends and stuff like that. I know you guys will do that because you're awesome. If you're looking for any um, a place where you can buy Microsoft Xbox codes or PSN codes to actually buy packs, check out G2A in the link down in the description below. Thanks so much, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.